So the idea of reverse tethering is to turn your computer or laptop into a Wi-Fi hotspot. This is useful whenever you're stuck in a situation that you only have Ethernet, but you need to connect other devices via a Wi-Fi connection. Now, we're gonna use Windows to do this, but I'm sure there are ways that you could do this on Linux. Okay, so this might be obvious, but just make sure that the computer or laptop that you're using is connected to the internet via Ethernet, but also has a Wi-Fi adapter. That's just because you can't send and receive Wi-Fi simultaneously. On your Windows machine, go to Command Prompt as Administrator and type in the following. This will tell you whether or not your Wi-Fi drivers support hosts and networks. By the way, if you're using a Surface Pro 3 or 4, you won't be able to do this. Now that you know that your driver is supported, go to Device Manager and make sure that Microsoft Host Adapter is enabled. If you don't see it, check Show Hidden Devices from the View menu. Finally, go back to your command prompt and enter the following. Oh, and if you get an error about your Wi-Fi connection not being started, go and disable and re-enable your Wi-Fi connection. So, the last thing that you need to do is share your Ethernet connection. So, from this point, your host network should be up and running. Now that's good. However, before you can connect to it using any of your devices, you might need to do one more thing. So if you're using an Android device, which I don't know why you wouldn't be using, go to Manage Network Settings and change the connection to a static IP address. Then choose one within a network's domain or just copy my settings. Also, use Google for your DNS server. After you have made the changes, you should have internet access. Network speed should be similar to the shared network, although mine is a little slower for some reason. Now, if you're using a Windows device, you need to go into network connections on a remote device and set up Google as your DNS server so that you can use domain name resolution. You might also have to perform an IP flash from within command prompt. I'll outline all the specifics over my website, so definitely check that out. And it's pretty simple. So guys, give this video a thumbs up if it helps you. Don't forget to go and follow me on social media to stay up to date with all the latest content. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.